For those who don't know this, the Lakers made an under-the-radar move. Going into training camp and preseason, the Lakers ended up with 19 players on their total roster. And with NBA teams having the eligibility to have 20, it was nowhere in headlines that the Lakers ended up signing their 20th player. We got some news a few days ago that the Lakers ended up waving Matt McClung from their roster. And with that being said, it opened up a two-way contract spot. And for this video, I'm going to be talking about a secret player the Lakers just signed and why I believe he could be a big part of their future. What's going on guys, welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. My name is Soom and I make basketball videos every single day. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications to not miss any of my upcoming videos. But without wasting any more time, let's talk about the Lakers secret player. Shams Karania tweets this, the Lakers signed Sekou Dembuya to a two-way deal. If you don't know who Sekou is, let me give you a brief description. As we speak, Sekou Dembuya is a 20-year-old NBA player who was drafted in the 2019 NBA Draft with the 15th overall pick by the Pistons. He's listed at 6'8", weighs about 230 pounds, and after playing about 2 years in Detroit, he averaged about 5.6 points per game, 2.8 rebounds, 0.7 assists, 0.5 steals, and 0.2 blocks in about 18 minutes per game. In his rookie season, Dwayne Casey, the head coach, was very high on Sekou Dembuya. He played about plus 20 minutes per game, but after failing to be a scoring factor, and a defensive factor, his minutes ended up lowering to the 15th in the second season. When Sekou first got drafted, he was getting a lot of comparisons to a young Giannis Antetokounmpo, a young OG Ananobi, but after failing and not living up to expectation, this past offseason, Sekou Dabuya got moved around a lot. The first thing that happened was that the Brooklyn Nets ended up trading DeAndre Jordan in exchange for Sekou Dabuya. And when this trade first happened, we thought it was great for Sekou as he can play with the Brooklyn Nets big three. A fun fact to note is during this preseason opener, when the Lakers faced the Brooklyn Nets, Sekou Dembuya actually played that game, scored about 11 points, and was perfect from the field. He shot 5 shots and made all 5 of them. Unfortunately, his tenor in Brooklyn was so short that literally 2 days after the preseason opener, he got traded to the Houston Rockets because the Brooklyn Nets tried to save money, and then of course the Houston Rockets ended up waving him. Which simply moves forward to today, the Lakers signed Sekou Dembuya, and I believe this under the radar move could benefit long term. When talking about the Lakers current roster, a big complaint the Lakers are getting is that they don't have size, they don't have a lot of big men. On their current roster, they have Anthony Davis, Dwight Howard, and DeAndre Jordan. And when talking about their training camp roster, their only big is basically Cam Oliver. So that's why bringing in one more big man who can play the power forward and center, it simply adds size and versatility to the options. As I mentioned earlier, Second Dibuya has been giving a lot of comparisons to Giannis simply because he's a beast in the paint. And with the Lakers roster having a lot of great playmakers when it comes to the G League team and the main team, Second Dibuya can flourish and simply potentially make the final cut. The Lakers roster right now has 14 players in total on their official roster, which means all of the training camp players are going to be fighting for that final spot. And with Sekou Dembuya having NBA experience over the past two seasons, he might just be over the edge above players like Shondi Brown, Joel Ayayi, and of course Cam Oliver. The Lakers right now have a secret freak of Sekou Dembuya, and in my opinion, it could be a bang for the buck. What's most important to me is I want to know your thoughts. Do you believe signing Sekou Dembuya was a great move for the Lakers, or do you believe they should have targeted somebody else? Put your thoughts down in the comments below. But other than that, take it easy, God bless, and I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets. Woo!